So one group not in attendance at CPAC this year, conservative gay organization Go Proud. Go Proud actually sponsored the conference back in 2010 and in 2011, so it's a little surprising to hear this, but um, CPAC informed the group that they were not invited to sponsor 2012 this time around. They could come, they could come as individuals, but they just couldn't be officially part of this thing. So joining me now are the co-founders of that group, Go Proud, Jimmy LaSalvia and Chris Barron uh, live for us. All right, gentlemen, I guess the question would be, and either one of you can field it, why why do you think that happened? Well, I think that for ever since we started Go Proud two and a half years ago, I mean, the first thing we did was sign up to co-sponsor CPAC, and we did that for two years. And there were there were folks on the ACU board and in outside organizations that wanted us uh, barred from CPAC simply because we're gay, and they took advantage of a leadership change at the organization and were successful in keeping us out this year. Okay, so my confusion is that um, when you were part of it and you were sponsors to CPAC, there were some pretty major groups that boycotted CPAC altogether, like Family Research Council, Concerned Women for America, Liberty University Heritage Foundation, even Senator Jim DeMint. So do you think that's at play here, that they were weighing, oh my goodness, uh, which of these groups can we afford to lose most? Well, I, well, I, I think sadly... Uh, while we, the entire time that we have been involved in CPAC, have said that the most important thing was unity within the conservative movement, there have been a handful of, you know, of organizations on the, the social right uh, who have decided to go the route of division. Uh, and some of those individuals and organizations that you just mentioned uh, decided to boycott previous CPACs. Uh, even though we weren't invited this year uh, and we were informed that we were not allowed to participate, uh, we haven't gone that route. Uh, we haven't said that we, we should be organizing a boycott because we understand that th in this election year, the most important thing we can have is unity within the conservative movement. It's unfortunate that other folks haven't done the same thing. So here's one well, of the things that I think gets confusing for some people who might be watching right now, and that is, uh, I mean, I don't want to be so foolish as to say, gee, how can a gay group be conservative since there seem to be competing messages? But I will tell you this. I, I got a release from you guys uh, back on January 27th saying, after last night's Republican debate, one thing is clear. Uh, any one of the four remaining GOP presidential candidates would be a dramatic improvement over the failed presidency of Barack Obama. So any one of the four would include Rick Santorum. And wow, I think a lot of gay people who maybe don't belong to your group would be astounded by that comment because here's one of the comments that in 2003, Rick Santorum made about uh, gay people and gay rights, etc. And, and I'll read it directly. If the Supreme Court says that you have the right to consensual gay sex within your home, then you have the right to bigamy, you have the right to polygamy, you have the right to incest, you have the right to adultery, you have the right to anything. I remember when that blew up big for the senator, and I think it led to the inability to Google Rick Santorum's name without seeing a lot of really gross stuff. How do you guys reconcile this? How, how do you say he's better than Barack Obama when he says these specifically about you? Well, let's, let's be clear. First off, we strongly disagree with what Rick Santorum said there. You know, th those comments are, are absolutely outrageous. Secondly, uh, Rick Santorum's not going to be the nominee of this party. Um, I know that the, the mainstream media and, and, and some in the, the party want to continue the charade that there is a horse race going on here. I, it, yeah, wait, Rick Santorum's, whole, Rick Santorum's not even on the ballot race. We on just seven. saw him win three states. He swept them and he swept that's, them that's with great. huge John McCain, lost, John McCain lost 19 states, 17 of those after he won in South Carolina and Florida, and his nomination was never in question. The bottom line is, is that the only candidate who has a national organization that can win this primary is Mitt Romney. I mean, we can continue to pretend that there's a horse race, and I know that the media wants to pretend like okay, there's so a horse that's, race. Okay, so but that's Rick Santorum. But there's not. Let, let me give but you that. On, let, let me give you that one, guys. So that's Rick Santorum. Now, the other candidates as well that you're supporting also support the... the uh, support the idea that gays shouldn't serve in the military and they also support the idea there should be a constitutional amendment to prevent gay marriage in this country. That doesn't seem like it's in sync with what you well, would want in your well, candidate. That, that's not exactly true. Uh, Ron Paul doesn't support the constitutional amendment and, and even Mitt Romney went so far as to say it's not likely. That, that particular proposal has lost support ever since it first failed in Congress in 2004. The reality is we're, we're all living in this Obama economy. Gay people are living in the Obama economy too. And we've got to come together, gay and straight, liberal and conservative, and fire the president. That's what we have to do as a country. And we have to look at who's best positioned and best able to do that. And to, 
to fix the problems that everyone, including gay people, care about, those kitchen table issues that everyone's worried okay. about right now. Right, and the, left, the, left would have you, the left would have you believe that the only thing that gay people care about is, is you know, military service and, and marriage. And while those are important issues, point well the taken. fact is, is that gay people care about things like the economy and okay. jobs point, and retirement well security. Taken. I appreciate it. Jimmy LaSalvia and Chris Barron, I could, I could go on for a whole lot longer, and I mm -hmm. do appreciate you guys uh, coming to talk to us today. And, and I'll, I'll be interested to see what you think, what you think about how C pack uh, resolves all of its issues after the next couple of days. Thanks, guys. Thanks. All right, it is uh, 10 minutes past the hour.